Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. And today we're talking about five bourbons you can hunt for in the heat of the summer in 2022. Pretty hot out there, huh? Just scoldering heat every time you walk outside. Beads of sweat are dripping down your glistening hot body. And there's only two things you want to do. Number one, find the nearest neighborhood swimming pool and cannonball into that SOB. Number two, hunt for bourbon inside air-conditioned bourbon stores. The problem is it's summertime and the best, most allocated products usually don't hit the shelves until the fall. But I'm here today to tell you about five or six or seven different bourbons that you can hunt for in the summer of 2022. But before we get into this bourbon list I put together for you, it's time to talk about today's brand new channel sponsor, Shaker and Spoon. Shaker and Spoon is a monthly cocktail subscription service that delivers the craft cocktail experience to your front door. Choose from a variety of spirits and they send you three recipes a month. And the box has enough ingredients for up to 12 cocktails. Which box did I pick? Since my wife has gotten into tequila lately and I wanted to impress her with some delicious cocktails, I got the box. And a ho, let's go. Three recipe cards and a glossary. Beautiful presentation. When you open the box, you just feel special. The box supplies everything you need except the alcohol. I picked my wife's favorite Anejo, so let's go. We're making the feather billet. It's what the recipe's called. Mexico. Frosty. I'm absolutely loving this box. And if you like cocktails or have someone in your life who might, click on the link in my description below. Use code ADHD at checkout and save yourself 20 bucks off your first box. Babe! It's good. That's good. We'll start with number six on my list. This is number six on my list because I haven't acquired a bottle yet. It's a recent release and it's Calumet Farms 16 year. These bottles are hitting the market in like so many states. All I'm saying is that Calumet Farms 16 is what I imagine to be tremendous and I can't wait to try it. And I'm anticipating it so much, I recommend you to buy it. Its predecessors, the 15 and 14 year, so good. So if you like an oaky bugger, then I bet Calumet 16 is right up your gutter. Now let's move on to bottles I actually have. Number five. Number five on my list I reviewed recently and a lot of people said that the review was accurate and they loved it. Other people were like, mm, not my jam. But this summer, if you're in the mood for a super low proof sipper and you do enjoy that oaky profile, Tin Cup 10 year. Tin Cup 10 year is 100% MGP bourbon. Unlike other Tin Cup products, Tin Cup 10 year doesn't add any Stranahan's malt. So whether it says American whiskey, American whiskey, bourbon whiskey, or like this one just says bourbon whiskey, bourbon whiskey, just know that it's MGP bourbon. Is it 84 proof? And it sure is. But 84 was a good year. Some would say a world's top whiskey taster was born in that year. For some people, this bottle might not be hard to hunt at all because it's available in a lot of states. But if you're not in one of those states and you travel, find yourself one of these and pick it up. And then tell me whether or not you like that tin cup. Number four. Number four on my list is a bourbon whiskey that was featured strongly on my channel recently. Again, some markets won't have to hunt heavily for this at all. But other markets were like, man, Matt, I used to be able to find this all the time. And guess what? Can't find it anymore. Well, son of a bee, guess what? Come to find out, these are again in the store. Wild Turkey Rare Breed, which seemingly had a bit of a shortage recently, rumor has it these bad buggers are hitting the shelves again. So hopefully those of you who haven't been able to get your hands on a Rare Breed lately will have some better luck this summer. Wild Turkey Rare Breed number four. Number three on my list, I recently reviewed but haven't edited the video yet. And when I do, I'm sure that only 
maybe 10% of you will watch it. And the reason behind that, I can't tell you yet, but once you click on the video, you'll know. And you'll be like, oh, he was right. Not gonna watch this one. But it has nothing to do with the product and everything to do with me. This summer, I recommend tracking down one of these bad buggers. Penalope, toasted barrel barrel strength. These 115 proof MGP sons of guns are finished in a newly toasted barrel and then bottled inside this beautiful gray, black, and gold bottle to behold. I'm not a huge fan of toasted bourbons, but this one, sign me up for seconds, baby. I dig it like a ditch, or I dig it like somebody who digs ditches would dig a ditch. It's more accurate. Number two. Number two on my list of bourbons to hunt in the summer of 2022 is actually not one bottle, but two. And if you think about it, it's actually maybe three. I'll explain. Coming in at the number two spot, Lucky Seven. The holdup and the proprietor. The holdup, 12 year, is a batched product. It's 100 proof, aged a minimum of 12 years, and so stinking good. It's Kentucky Distillate and is fan friggin tastic. Look out for a review of this coming soon. And P.S. A 14 year is now available. So look for the hold up in a 12 year and 14 year. Bottle so beautiful. Bottle so nice. And tastes so good I would buy it twice. Maybe three times or more. And then we have the Proprietor available in 6 and 14 year. I've only had the pleasure of tasting the 14 year single barrels. But guess what? Amazing. Amazing. Will I ever get to do a single barrel pick of this? Probably not unless I blackmail someone. This is about as good of a bottle you can find on the shelves these days for 130 to 150 bucks. Fan freaking The hold up on the other hand, I didn't mention the price, 99 bucks. So number two on my list is Lucky 7 The Hold Up, 12 year, and probably the new 14 year as well. I'm sure that's gonna be just as good. I ordered some from their website a while back and I'm just waiting for it, so patiently. And also, 14 year proprietor. These two bottles are banging, baby. So stinking good. I heard you're good. I am so good. I am so good. But am I better than you? I don't know, probably not. I'm barrel strength. That brings us to number one on my list, numero uno the number one bottle you should be hunting in the summer of 2022. It's hot outside, baby, but barrel strength bourbon still reigns supreme. And if you find a private barrel of this, you'll know what I mean. Number one on my list, Elijah Craig single barrel, barrel proof private selects. I am so surprised at how many different stores I've been to have their own private selections of Elijah Craig barrel proof. These bad boys you're gonna find usually between 70 and $90, depending on the store. They're barrel strength and from Heaven Hill, so they're gonna range anywhere between like 118 and 135 proof. They're aged between eight and 12 years, depending on the barrel, and I'm in love with these. If you love Elijah Craig Barrel Proof and have a hard time finding the newest batches, then you're in luck because I think these are much easier to come by nowadays. Some of them are fruity, some of them are nutty, some of them are barrel char powered, but they're all tasty and I haven't come across one I don't like. I don't know if they're gonna continue this program forever. I have no idea. But while they're doing it, I say that this bottle Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Single Barrel are the number one bourbon to hunt in the summer of 2022. And if you don't believe me, then you're dumb. You're just dumb. In the nicest possible. I mean that in the nicest possible way. Well, hopefully you found this video interesting or entertaining or something. Hopefully it was worth your while to click on this video. And if it was, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment below. Let me know what bourbons are you hunting this summer? Or do you just take the summer off and wait until the fall when you can be disappointed by not being able to buy any bottles of bourbon that you want? Anywho, my name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. And like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on buying the biggest fireworks your budget can handle and then not setting them off. You go to the fireworks stand and you tell them you want the biggest rockets money can buy. The ones that shoot up 2,000 feet and explode like a flock of geese ran into a tomahawk missile. <laughs> and you spend thousands of dollars on those fireworks. And then you bring them home and you do not set them off. 
you do not do it. It's 2022. You light a wick on a firework anywhere in America, your neighbors are immediately on the phone with the police. And you don't want beef with your neighbors. You know why? No cookies. No cookies for you ever. And if neighbors are good for anything, it's cookies. And calling the police on people who shoot off fireworks. So you buy those fireworks, you bring them home, and you take pictures and selfies with them. You just sit there and stare at them. You just gotta save them for the best occasion. Like when the neighbor boy flies his drone into your backyard to spy on your sunbathing wife. Then go ahead and try to shoot that sucker out of the air. And then after you fail at shooting it down, you walk over to your neighbor's house and you ask that boy for his footage because you've never seen your wife's breasts from a bird eye view with fireworks going off. And we can all agree that that would be a sight to behold.